Joanna Gaines is reflecting on the bittersweet feelings that come with her eldest son heading to college. In an essay for the Magnolia Journal's fall issue, the Fixer Upper Welcome Home star opened up about how she's been processing her teenage son Drake's upcoming move. The 44-year-old mentioned her son's milestone while discussing finding strength through the different seasons of life. She wrote in part, In our 20 years of marriage, Chip and I have experienced a little bit of all of it. Losing a loved one, shifts in friendships, bills we couldn't pay, moments where our hearts were broken, times when all hope felt lost and circumstances were out of our control, when all I could do was lay face down on the floor and surrender. She went on, soon our oldest son, Drake, will be leaving home for college. In the grand scheme of heartbreaking things, this one comes with a lot of gratitude and excitement. But still, my first child is moving away and our family dynamic will change because of it. And that can feel like a loss of its own. I catch glimpses now of what that life will look like and wonder if, or how many times, that might bring me to the floor. Joanna added in part, what we learn is that life is not about holding out only for the days of brightest possibility. It's not only about finding ourselves a crisp new page. Sometimes, in order to move forward, we have to surrender ourselves to the promise of growth that follows the fall. When Drake heads off to school for his new adventure, Joanna and her husband, Chip Gaines, will still have nearly a full house with their four younger children, Ella, Duke, Emmy K, and Crew. The whole gang is growing up so fast, especially Crew. In a sweet Instagram post last week, Joanna shared a side-by-side -side of him as an infant and him now, and marveled over the passage of time, writing, Babies don't keep, just pretending that this four-year-old is still a baby. Chip and Joe celebrated their 19th wedding anniversary earlier this summer. Last year, they chatted with Access Hollywood about their near two decades of marriage and how they've always known that they're in it for the long haul. One thing that I would say is our superpower is that Joe and I are not quitters. I mean, throwing in the towel is, is not something that honestly ever even comes to mind. And I would say that that happened pretty early, or early in our relationship where we just thought it's interesting that divorce or leaving one another is not really an option for us. And so somehow that little, that little foundation has definitely served us well because things have definitely been challenging. We're not perfect and, and we have issues and trials and errors just like anybody. But, but I would say that it's funny when you say throwing in the towel in fairness, I would admit if we had considered that along the way, but, but relationally we're in it for, for forever. You know, it'll never not, this will never be a gossip mag that we don't make it. That's how it ends. And I can kind of see the end of that story. And then when I think about difficult things that we've done, and I would say the, the real estate crisis of kind of like 2006, seven, eight, nine, 10, you know, it didn't hit Waco till a little bit later. So it's a little bit of an extended period that I'm referring to, but you know, that crisis, Joe and I had multiple opportunities to quit and throw in the towel. And that was just not in our, in our DNA. And so now I think we've taken that and realize that, you know, it's like, you can't ever lose if you don't quit. And Joe and I keep showing up day after day. And sometimes it's right, sometimes it's not, but we, uh, but we keep putting one foot in front of the other.